Hey all, Farmer Dre back at it. We're out here in the uh, squash field and we're starting off this morning by picking some zucchini. So the reason we're picking zucchini today is because if you let them another day, they get too large. So we just get a knife there and cut it smoothly. You could twist them off, but with zucchini, you don't want to injure the plant because then a lot of diseases can get into the plant and then you won't be able to harvest off season long. So anything from that size, six to, six to eight inches long. We came through on Friday and picked, but like I said, zucchinis are the kind of crop that will grow, you know, four to five inches overnight if you let them, so. And, uh, come up in here and just harvest them, we'll come through tomorrow and pick cucumbers and yellow squash, but look at that, squirrels. We have a squirrel that lives up in that tree, and uh, he comes and eats the, uh, now I gotta come through and spray for some stink bugs. I'm seeing some damage here. Stink bug damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so just got done picking the zucchinis here. Got some beautiful yellows. Just a box of each. And uh, take them to the farm store there. And probably take some to the farmer's market tomorrow. We'll see if we could sell them all today. But these are just a little too big than what we like. But they'll sell. I mean, nice, good stuff. Just beautiful, beautiful yellows. And then tomorrow I'll be out here picking uh, the... Uh, squash and then the cucumbers and then the peppers are doing it right and the field tomatoes are doing okay there's quite a bit of green ones on here but they're just just growing just growing 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 a few hours has passed and i thought i was going to film a little more today but after we got done picking on that zucchini uh we had to take a few animals to the vet they were, were having a lot of eye issues this year a lot of tall weeds we went ahead and brush hogged that a while back but anyways we are out here in the high density apples as you guys know we planted these uh, last year i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update on how the high density apples have been doing this year so far it's been i mean amazing super awesome everything's been growing nicely as i can tell here the trees have been uh you know you give a tree plenty of fertilizer and plenty of water it's gonna grow and uh overall some of these trees will reach the top wire there by the end of this uh, second season you know, if we push these with a little more fertilizer, we might get, you know, pretty close to that top. And controlling the vigor, you know, the goal in the first and second year is to go ahead and reach that top wire. And then in your third year, go ahead and crop it for the first time. But I did listen to uh, Dr. Taryn Charberson, and he was saying that if you're able to go ahead and crop a few apples in your second year, go ahead and see how it works out. So this first row right here, this is Gala. And I went ahead and left a few apples on there this season to see how it works. And as you can tell here, you know, galas in our area aren't quite ready yet. But, you know, I, I left a few apples wherever they, they uh, flowered. So, beautiful looking apples, top quality. This is what you want to see in the high density system. So, overall, these apples are looking pretty good. And whenever you plant the high density apple system, you want to make sure that the uh, tree size stays consistent throughout the whole entire acreage. The nursery we bought the apple trees from. You know, they're a smaller nursery, so they don't bud as many trees as um, as some of the bigger nurseries. And whenever the bigger nurseries bud trees, they do millions at a time. So then you get a more even and more consistent tree size per, you know, in your order. But the nursery we worked with, you know, it was kind of a, a mixture of trees. So some of the trees are just quarter inch whips, meaning they're probably two to three foot tall and just itty bitty trees. So like this tree right here, it was just, it was just a small tree whenever we got it from the nursery. So, you know, it's our, our high density apple here is gonna be a little inconsistent compared to something you'd like to see in a more of a, a commercial setting orchard. But, you know, as long as we get most of these apple trees hitting the top wire by the end of this year and uh, by the middle of next year, we should be good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys more of the galas down here. There's a little more crop down here, so let's go ahead and check that out. So as I just could tell here, these galas are absolutely loaded. That's an easy two and a half inch size apple there. Pure, perfect number ones. And this is why you want to grow apples on a high density system is because the uh, whenever you're coming down the row with the uh, sprayer or anything, you're getting a really good contact with the tree with the actual leaves and on the actual fruit. So then you got a, a perfect top quality apple. So, I mean, there's an even consistency of fruit throughout this whole entire section here. And like I said, I didn't want to leave too much fruit on these trees because if you leave too much fruit in the second year, you are taking away from the vigor and the growth. 
and the goal in the second year is go ahead and uh, grow the tree as much out as you can so on this tree right here we left uh, what is that two four six seven eight nine apples on this tree and it's really close hitting that top wire but then you get a beautiful nice number one apple so you know the high density system at first it was a little uh you know the only downside of it it's really expensive to put in at first but if you go ahead and crop the apples the trees in the second and third year you know that's you just see your return on investment real fast and real easy so overall the high density apples has been doing really well for us this year and like i said we only cropped this first row here just to see how it is and galas seem to be a little more vigorous it's a little it's a little easier to go ahead and crop the galas in the second year second year compared to other varieties we have here like this variety right here is jonathan's and um jonathan's i've heard if you crop them really heavy in the second year you won't see much growth but as you can tell here you know it broke butter right here this past spring so that's already 16 uh 18 inches of growth since the first of the year there so um you know it's beautiful out here high density system is just looking amazing so over here i got a little carried away and left a little too many apples on this tree and i will prove to you guys here that if you leave too many apples then you're not going to get as much growth so there's quite a bit of apples on this tree there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve apples on this tree which is a little too much for the tree size with a 13 right there with that one so 13 apples on this tree and it broke butter right here at the tip so we only got you know eight inches of growth on top of the tree there so this is why what you don't want to do in the second year here is if you crop it too heavily then you're uh, risking you know your vigor and your growth so uh i just want to try it out on a few trees here on this first row of these galas to see how it is and now i know that if you overcrop it in the second year you won't see that much production like on this tree right here you know there's just two apples on this whole tree and uh, it broke bud right here where that scaling is and you could tell there so on this tree with two apples on it that's a good 24 inches of growth there on top of that tree so this is what you do want to see and the goal you know whenever i listen to these guys uh, talk about the high density system you know you know they say you could produce 20, uh, 200 bushels to the acre in the second year if you have a even consistency of trees from the nursery and like i said if you work with a big nursery you know you will get an even consistency of trees but you know for it made more sense for us to just use a smaller nursery and it you know at the end of the day the, the trees will work so um uh, two-year-old apple trees with an absolutely amazing crop on them just beautiful 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 just awesome so just look at the beauty of this apple here and usually galas will turn like a little more yellow there or orange on the base there before it's ready to be picked so just absolutely amazing and galas they start putting on buds for the next season this time of year right before harvest so on galas you know you can't overcrop them i mean you can but then it's really hard because they're gonna go ahead and set fruit for next year so it is looking awesome 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 out here so just beautiful top quality fruit so on this tree i purposely i remember clearly that i purposely didn't leave any fruit on it and uh, as you can tell here, I probably should have done this on all the trees and we shouldn't have left the fruit on them this year at all because it's already reached a top wire there and we're barely in August. We've got three, three more months of growth. So this tree right here is going to produce us a good 20 to 30 apples next year. you got a lot of, a lot of good feathers there, a lot of, got of good branches here. And this is branching out well. You know, it's real, getting real nice and thick there at the bottom. So... You know, like I said, we're one we're one of the only orchards in this area who actually is trying out the high density system. So I didn't know exactly what to expect. So, you know, you do stuff just to see how it works. And then by the time you try it out, you're like, man, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But hey, that's how you that's how you continue learning and uh keep doing it every year. Just try something new with a different row and see how it go, turns out. So from now on, anything that we plant, I'm not gonna let it crop until the third year. Just so we go ahead and fill up that tree spacing and uh, go ahead and crop it heavily and heavily in the third year but i am still mesmerized of how many apples a two-year-old tree can produce you know and it's just uh just absolutely beautiful two-year-old apple trees producing a nice crop so i just want to go ahead and show you guys this high density system i just realized that i haven't showed you guys this system all season long and it was about time you know we're right right before gala harvest and uh one other benefit about the system is that the apples are ripen just a few days earlier than the traditional system because the, uh, you know, in, in, in the apple industry, if you're growing any kind of fruit or vegetable, 
we're harvesting sunlight and in this system you know you're getting a lot more sunlight you know to the tree since it's a smaller tree it could produce you a better better looking crop and it could potentially produce you more uh more apples on a per acre basis so the apples on this system will ripen just a few days earlier because they're getting more sunlight you know whenever you count all the leaves and how much photosynthesis every single leaf is getting up so overall i just want to show you guys this system and as you can tell here i'm very excited this system is working well so i'm very happy so this is going to be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we will see you next time